guys, we're back in LA, we're back with Skeet and Trilogy Media, and we're back in the bathtub. Out of all the people that I've caught in California, this one is by far the sickest. This man's name is Jared, age 44, from Los Angeles, California. I met him on a dating app where I told him I was 13 years old and he asked me, am I trying to F people's lives up? He then was like fairly unresponsive, so I was like, okay, he has no interest in talking to who he thinks is a 13 year old, right? But the next night, Jared started chatting again. He called me beautiful and he even sent me his phone number. I was like, oh yeah. He quickly started flirting and asked me if I'm a goody good girl and if I have a naughty side. He wanted to know if I drink, if I smoke, if I touched myself. Soon afterwards, he dropped some big bombs on me. I found out he had a 16 year old daughter. And not only that, he spent several years in prison for Grand Theft Auto and he had only been out of prison for one month. So Jared wanted to hang out that night. The only problem was it was 11 p.m. by that point. He lives an hour away and he doesn't have a car or money. The universe was trying to give him a sign to not do this as he lived just right out of Uber's service range. But did that stop him? No. He called up his brother-in-law so he could get a ride into town and then the Uber could pick him up from that Walmart. So yes, he got into the Uber once it was at Walmart and we sat there waiting for our predator to be delivered. For Jared's big adventure to the Sting House, he picked up some alcohol, he picked up some condoms, and he was calling and texting me the entire time. I'll show clips of the phone call soon, but the text just kept digging him a bigger and bigger hole. You know, at first I was like, okay, he wants to meet up with a child in the middle of the night, that's wrong, that's weird. He didn't talk sexual, so I was thinking, on the way to us, is he going to talk sexual? And sure enough, he said everything that you could possibly think of. I'm not even joking. He asked if I was a virgin and then called me baby. He also made it clear that he'll do anything that I want. Your wish is my command, as he misspelled to the 13 year old girl. He even said we can get married once I turn 18. On the phone call, he asked me what I would do if we met tonight and he started liking me more than He's supposed to? He also told me, by the way, when I get there, I'm gonna shower. So I figured, sure, why not just run him a bath, you know, do it a little different this time. Put some bubbles in there, you know, I was, I was trying to be nice to him. At this point, it's 2 a.m. and I'm still waiting for my fiance to show up. We wanted to make this a Halloween type theme video because, you know, tis the season. Finally, Jared arrives at the door. Here we go. So what do you want me to call? What's up? I just wanted to see if you call. You're like the only person that I talked to and I showed him my number and would call. It's like, I don't even know what they're scared of. Maybe because you just got out of prison, but I'm not scared of you. Um, yeah, if you want to come over, you can. I can get you an Uber. From Palmdale? Yeah. I don't know how far that is. That's like two hours from where you're at. I have my dad's credit card. Since approximately um, arriving 11.20, so almost at 11.30. 11.20? Mm-hmm. That is so two hours away. No, just send it to that address. There's no Uber drivers around there, so I'm going to try a lift. <laughs> no Uber drivers are not making shit out here. Yeah. I live right out there. I live out in the desert. Yeah, I can't tell the Uber driver where to go because there is no drivers in that area. There's no number call or No. Can you like go somewhere in more near town or get a ride more near a town or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll, try, to, I'll try to do that right now. No, he just could have dropped me off at Walmart. It's my sister's boyfriend. Oh. What yeah, is. I live with my Me and my sister, we live in, in the same house. We're leaving right now. Yeah, we're talking to my brother. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm not doing it. What? No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to meet some chick. Oh, hey, hey, you gotta kiss me first. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm getting the Uber right now. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I'll be sitting out in front of Walmart. Sitting in front. You excited? 
Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the echo or no? Yeah, kind of throwing me off a little. I wonder if that's a, a cat. The cops might be tapping your phone. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would have sucked if, if, it, if it had to be tomorrow. I know. And then I'd only be able to kick it for like a few hours and then have to leave because you're dead. I can't wait. What else do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go for a walk? You want to hang out, watch movies, whatever? We'll watch movies. Cuddle? Yeah, we can cuddle. Are we going to do shots with the tequila? Yeah. Okay. How many? Yeah, Sure. Oh, how many can you take? Oh, I don't know. I never drank before. <laughs> what? What's your favorite song? My favorite song is Love Song by The Cure. My favorite song is um, Memento Mori by Lama God. And I like Ice Spice. Right, you want to be a singer? I know, I want to be Ice Spice. Hey, how are you right now? Walmart? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Here, just stay on the phone until my friend gets yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Hmm? Okay, I think I think you just got in. Okay, he got in. Yeah, like okay, he got, got through top. Yeah, you yeah. did the door shut. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you are hard in the Uber right now? You were hard in the Uber right then? Yeah. You were? <laughs> That's so funny. The whole, the whole way. You were hard the whole way? Oh my gosh, how'd you hype? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you'll be here in eight minutes, so. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, yeah, just um, come up, knock on the door. It's scary, it's dark outside, so. <laughs> right. I'll leave porch light down for you, okay? The dog, sorry. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just nervous. Oh, <laughs> so sorry. Know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ran you a bath. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I figured. Well, did you bring tequila? <laughs> yeah, I'm just nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. <sighs> long ride. <laughs> yeah, so long. Yeah, you can just put your stuff in the bathroom. In here? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. How's your day? All day. I'll put this on the table for now, okay? All right. Awesome. It was all right. It was long. Yeah. I should have went to work today, but I didn't. Why? Uh, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. And my boss didn't even call me until like like 9.30. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, and you're calling in tomorrow too, right? Yeah, I'm going to call in tomorrow. Because <laughs> I'm worth it? Huh? Because I'm worth it? Yeah. No, <laughs> what? Because I'm worth it. Yeah, you're definitely worth it. Trust me. Thank you. Yeah. You all right? What did you do? <clears throat> I've just been watching... TV and... And been pacing nervously? Yeah. The nerves oh, are getting come better, Okay, listen to me. Relax. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're beautiful. Thank you. Don't think you're not. You're very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Nice bathroom, right? Huh? I love it. Do you like my bathroom? Yes, I your bathroom. Your bathroom. Where are we at? We're near Crenshaw. Crenshaw? Near it, right? yeah. Are we? Yeah. Mm. You're like, where are we at? Because <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I thought I saw a spot that I was familiar with, like Wilmington, but I knew it wasn't Wilmington. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, uh, you brought a knife. <laughs> huh? Is that a knife? 
Yeah. Oh, I, I always carry a knife on. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that's really smart. Well, whoa, tattoos. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can turn away while you undress. You don't have to turn away. Oh, okay. You can look all you want. Okay. <laughs> wow, you have a lot of tattoos. I want tattoos when I'm older. Yeah? I love tattoos. <sighs> this is going to feel so bomb right now. I know. Oh my gosh, baths are good for your muscles, too. What is it? Baths are good for your muscles. <clears throat> I don't even remember the last time I took a bath. Really? I'm going to get naked. Okay, I'll turn it around. You don't have to. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is it hot? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Wow. Here, just take your time. I don't know how to put the cold water on. Oh, uh, I could do it. <laughs> Holy shit. Here, I'll leave it. Sorry. No, that's not your fault. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that the cold water? Yeah. Okay. Sir. You tell us what's going on. I'm thinking of that. Jared, right? At whose house? I don't know. Do you live here? No, I don't. Oh. Let me tell you something, Jared. You do not want to know what I have behind this cape. Okay. Alright. I've seen. I'm in. 
I'm a very powerful wizard. And I might just have to cast a spell on you. Alright. What are you here to do? Hang out? With who? Her. Who's her? Where, where'd you meet her? Or are you really going to continue washing yourself as we're trying to talk to you? Now, the soap's you know, not going to work on your soul, oh, but... You know it came to the house, the underage girl, right? No, oh, that is it. You did it? Oh, yeah, you did. There, sir. Oh, yeah, you did. No. How would I know that? She told you that. No, she, she told, told me you she she's 13. She told no. me she was 18. You no. said I cannot 18. wait until you're going to turn 18 so I can marry you. We but listened to all the girls say she's no need to lie. She told me, well, the girl says I'm really 18. I'm sorry, she says my profile says I'm 18, but I'm actually 13. Wow. And yes, what wow. she's trying to do. And you did say you were going to wait till she's 18 to marry her. You asked her if she masturbates. I mean, Jared, what were you thinking? You can finish your bath. That's all I was doing. We can wait. We got a lot of time to wait. We've been waiting for you for four hours. For I mean, what? For what? I was just coming to hang out. Hang out? With a 13 years old girl? I didn't know she was 13. You she did, though, Jared. Jared please, have a you seat. You can finish your bath. No, no, I'm not going to finish my I know you bath. didn't. I know you didn't. You're not scrub. comfortable? No. I'm but you're comfortable to come to minor house. We know you didn't scrub where the sun don't shine. You should probably continue and finish your bath. The soap's not going to work on your soul, but. You're out of the prison. You lied to your sister. You're not going to work yeah, tomorrow. Didn't you, didn't you just get out of prison, Jared? Yeah. Your little brother told you stay away from the trouble and you said try to catch me. We heard everything. Right. Yeah. You asked her so if she smokes weed. Can I ask a question? Oh, well, not yet. We have a few more questions for you. I think we're going to ask questions for our Sims police. You, you brought her tequila? No, that was my tequila. Oh, so no. But you brought him here for her to drink. No, for me. For you, you just asked her to take a shot with you. You, you did. Because she. Sure. It's all on camera. It's all recorded. She, she's 13. We've been recording you since you left Palmdale. You say you're not going to chain me up in the closet and feed me with a slingshot, are you? Where did they do that at? Prison? No. Where, where, where'd you get that horrendous idea from? Because if you were, I was just going to tell you I like mashed potatoes out of a slingshot. I was just joking with her. What joking else do you like out of a yeah, slingshot? But I was just you have a daughter. If I don't no, be joking with your daughter like this. Two daughters. Exactly. Two daughters. Two daughters. And one is how old, Jared? Sixteen? Sixteen? Huh? One is your daughter is 16? Yes, one's 16 okay. mm -hmm. and one is 17. Okay. okay. And you're coming to the house to 13 years old girl, right? She told you she's 13. No, she did. She did. She did, though. She did, not though. That's you why, why did you ask her if she was involved she with was the police? 18. Wait, where are we trying to go right now? No, you know, the, no, like no. Okay, no, yeah. No, no, no. Because, you know, why did you ask her about the police, though? Hey, Jared, we're going to have you go come and sit in here. Can I just grab No, we're going to have you come and sit in here right now. All right. Go ahead and leave that stuff there. Yeah, I can't wait to hold you in my arms. Let's right, go talk. Let's go have a seat down there. Sorry, I'll keep subs on. No, no, no. Go ahead and have a seat in chair. Oh, no. This one's going to be nice and comfortable. You can sit anywhere you want. I have company, I'll say. Do you have your ID on you? Or is it in your bag? Thank you. So I wonder if you're going to start taking accountability for what you're actually doing here. I thought it was just coming here. You know. So everything you said in the Uber, all those sexual things. I mean, please repeat them. Yeah, yeah but you I'll asked me for an example of what I would do. I didn't say it so was it's the to you, fault. but I was just no. It's not nobody's fault. It's your, your fault. You said I'm going. You said I'm going. You said I'm going to kiss you all over. I haven't been this happy in a long time. When was the last time you were this happy, Jared? The Uber, probably. So you're just gonna hang out. Soak up the suds with a 13 year old girl and no, have a couple no, no, no. shots of tequila. You, you didn't know what you're You're supposed to work tomorrow at 7 o'clock with your sister. Where does your sister think you are? So I have one question for you, Jerry. If you weren't here to have sex with anyone, I have those on the period. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why'd you bring them tonight, though? Why did you say her place? That's there is so that's bad. You know, right? It has my height, it has all my stuff. So you have a whole you. grooming package? You brought them up to stay with me. Wow. Two packages? I don't think like that. You don't think like that? You don't think, you don't think, like, think like that. I mean, the text messages say otherwise. Bottle tequila? Two pack of condoms? Do not. Hard don't deek? Don't bullshit a boy. And how many condoms are in a pack, Jared? I don't know. I think there's three, right? Three or four. I feel like and you do know. 
Well, what were those small size trophies? I mean, I saw you give a thought of that. What you're working with is really not very impressive, but that's a conversation for another day, I suppose. I just don't understand how the father with two daughters will go to a 13 year old house almost at midnight. What the fuck? The time is right now. Midnight. It's midnight. one in the morning. Oh, one in the morning. Oh, shit. We tried to call you Uber for fucking three hours. Nobody wanted to pick up your ass. And then miracle happened. You decided to go to fucking Walmart to come closer. Was it worth it? Are there no women your age, bro? I mean, here you can say, if you do have a boyfriend, I won't do anything. I'll back off. I'm no so, so that's where you draw the line. It's her having a boyfriend, not her telling you she's 13. Hello? Man, it's embarrassing. It's sitting in fucking embarrassing. Because, dear, you do recall her telling you that. Do you think about how this is going to affect your daughter's future now? That not only is their father going to return to prison, but his face is going to be now famous yep, for being a child predator. You have a parole officer here? Do you have his name? You don't have a parole officer. Uh, no. What would they think of this? Do you have his number? He just calls you? We'll find it. It's all right. Maybe it's a good cold Here. start with the little brother who, say, who said, hey, yeah. stay away from the troubles, go home. Why or your I... sister, who is expecting for you tonight. Why don't you uh, give your brother a call, the one that was telling you not to come here? No. Why don't you let him know uh, what trouble you got into? You actually have a great family, great brother, who looking out for you. Do you like Chris? Because, I mean, just to uh, Fucking embarrassing. There's the text message if you read that right there. It's, she tells you she's 13. You do remember reading that, right? Because you responded to it. You kind of lie to a wizard. A wizard knows everything. What does that tattoo on your left arm mean? Real lies. Real lies. Real lies. You were telling some real lies back there, saying you didn't know if you were a chain. Hey, hey, Jaren. Who's Jill? Is that your sister? You can try giving her a call and see who picks up. I, mean, I assume it's your sister. She's asking if he's okay. Okay. So you're making the horny, babe. Your sister. Well, what were you really planning to do, Jared? This is probably the last time you're going to have communication with the outside world, so make it make it count. Do you have anything to say for yourself at all? Do you feel bad? Are you happy that it was us here, not an actual 13-year-old girl? Think about what you would have done to her tonight. It sure didn't sound like nothing. You're in. You're naked in a bathtub. You told her to watch you undress. He fucking heard you, bro. You're literally naked, Jared. Told her and knocked her away. And then you said, I would start by kissing on your lips so softly that I kissed on your neck. And you said you would do little bite soft kisses down the back. And suck on her neck more as she moans. That's what you said here, Jared. I love that you, you know, it says, I was not planning to do nothing. I mean, this is just. Uh, well, uh, this is just a recipe. That's a lot to me. That's, that's a great recipe to not try to fuck up. I mean, we're trying to have a good time. Are you having a good time, Jared? Pushing me harder into your blank. I have the back of my hand on your head, and your hair tight. The more I kiss you, and I still won't slow down. Kissing your shoulders and breasts. Is this how they talk to you? Licking, person? sucking, sucking, licking. A lot of licking and sucking going on. In this conversation here. It's going to be really fun family on the back. A lot of legging and stuff. Mm -hmm. I actually have a personal question. It's not like, you know, just trying to figure out myself. Are you so talented because in the back of the Uber seat you were writing erotic novels, Pretty right? Much. Is it Chuck GPT? Or it's just your poet? Er 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 erotical poet? Who are you? Father of two daughters. Right. I mean, why not use these writing skills to go into, you know, the erotica napo genre? Why do you these things to a 13-year-old girl, you know? There's a lot of film festivals, you know. What you would you avoid. do if Where's someone did this to your 16-year-old daughter? You came home, and she was in the bathroom with a naked man bending over 
in her face. What would you do? Would you be okay with that? He knows exactly what he would do. Would you be okay with that? If he was like, oh, I just came here to hang out. Would you be like, oh, okay, man, sorry. Just ignore the alcohol. The condom alcohol. You told him, I'm gonna turn around, I don't wanna watch and He said, no, 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 you can watch me. Yeah. You can watch me, undressing, getting in the shower, yeah, watch, watch me. I don't think Jared has anything else to say. A lot of questions, not a lot of answers. No accountability, huh? I mean, you said a lot on your way here. I just about to say that. What, what happened with this novelist? Novelist. What, what about this entire page worth of sexual messages that you wrote? In the I mean, grooming? What if we meet tonight, babe, and we get feelings for each other, but you're not 18 yet? I will marry you when you're 18. It's a long stretch, five years, right? To wait until we're going to turn. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's really not a good look. To be honest, guys, not a lot of even fight, and that's why he's not fighting. He's defeated. He knows he's wrong. He knows he's fucked up. And it's just, I'm, I'm a literally, as a man to man, I'm fucking embarrassed the way you represent men in any city, in any country. You have fucking two daughters, two daughters that still. One of which is three years older than the girl that you're here to meet. You're here to meet someone younger than your daughter for sex. What's your daughter think of this? I mean, what is she going to think when she finds out that her dad went and did a thing like this? What's she going to think, Jared? Do you have anything to say for yourself? What's going on in your mind right now? You blink in my mouth once or twice or three times. Now you're almost practically screaming. Your knees are shaking. Grab my penis. So put it out of its pants. It's hard as a rock, swollen with a passion for love. I mean, this is some, I mean, I feel like I would read this in Fifty Shades of Grey. Because this, you go into such detail. Oh, Fifty Shades ain't shit. I'll say it. Here, it's just kind of look at me. I mean, I, that's only like half of the message that you sent. Should, should I finish it? Well, I've never been to prison myself, but he's returning as a child rapist. I think that's worse than Grand Theft Auto, right? Absolutely. It's pretty good. Oh no, he knows. Like he already knows what happens to. Yeah, those dudes have daughters yeah, too. What do you have to say for yourself? Seriously, what's going on in your mind? His life is flashing before his eyes. Do you realize you fucked up on the way here? Did you ever realize once that this could be a setup? Did you ever realize once that, like, wow, I could be ruining a thirteen-year-old girl's life, or are you just that desperate and horny to get laid? Friday night, lonely, horny, Fresh coyote. Out of prison. I mean, there's a million better things you could be doing on Friday night. Friday night in Los Angeles, you, know, man. you mean like listening to his younger brother saying stay home, mm -hmm. and not to wake up in the morning to go to work? Mm -hmm. And what did he say? What's he said, catch, me, you if you can. catch me, me if you can. Catch me if you can. Yeah, well, you're caught, bitch. Huh? We caught you. Guess what? We caught you. We did it. Because you didn't listen to your brother, so we did it. You have a really great family, and it's looking and it's, out for him, man. Looking out for his best him. interest at heart. Just, Why just 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 like I think you're, you're thinking with the wrong head here. You're fucked. I don't relate to your family, and I feel so fucking sorry how many hearts you, you, you broke already by going and serving time, and now doing this fucked up situation. You just ruined your family's life all over again. It's incredible to see when life gives you a second chances on Some silver platter. You don't even get those. Yeah. Some people don't get second chances. You just got out from the prison. You just got out. Your sister gave you a house to leave. Your sister gave you a job. And then you talk about how she'll moan instantly once you put your whole eight inches inside of her. Jared, I just saw you naked in the bathroom. I mean, that's, that's cap. There's nowhere near inches there. I, I think it's my fault. talk a big game. 
I think it's my fault because I made um, uh, his hot buff so fucking hot that it got shrinked. Oh, okay. It's just the problem. It could have been bigger. It could have yeah, been bigger. Yeah, the best ones. Yeah, I put way too hot. So sometimes uh, also I burn this. He's a grower, not sure. Yeah, you know, I guess. yeah. If it's so hot, I guess sometimes it can have the same effect as cold. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Works both ways. Yeah. Uh, around the same thing. And after you sent the message, you say, "What did that? What did you think of that? Did it make you horny or what?" And then you go into more detail. You go into more detail. Talk about being out of breath and shoving all of your blame in her mouth and shoot shooting your what, what did you say? I shoot my account all over your chest. What do you mean shoot your account? What, what, what does that mean? Like savings, you know, checking account. Your checking account? Is that you're gonna shoot your checking account all over her? I think you was taking shooting no, shot a little too late. Yeah. Why is someone fresh out of prison trying to befriend a 13 year old? And have sex with her. Why get, are you here? To get married, duh. To get married. Do you Is think that's a, normal? Uh, Is that normal to you? Me. You're such a yeah. pussy. You can't even look at any of us in the eyes. You wanted to come here for a 13 year old, but now that you meet adults, you just won't talk to us? No. 13 year old calling you a pussy. Something to say for yourself there, isn't it? I mean, anything. Say anything for yourself. It's going through your mind, Jared. What do you have to say for yourself? He just know that he's so fucked up that he just... I think he knows it's gonna happen when he yeah. goes away. Yeah. yeah, especially if someone who's been in prison. You know what to do with people like that. It's one of the cardinal sins, and you just committed it. Yeah, and such heinous detail, too. Ta you so graphic. There, you there is nothing stopped. left to the imagination. No hesitation. Zero. Full sin. Guys, how long have we been doing these stink house operations, and how many times have we met somebody who will live, live so fucking far away, in the middle of mm -hmm. desert, lonely, horny coyote, that will be so eager to find a way to get in the fucking bubbly shower mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the miner at one in the morning. Yeah. How many people did we have? Only one other person that I could think of. Yeah. For but I think he beat him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think he, he won you also. take the cake. The previous yeah. child predator, he drove himself. This one. Yeah. Was glad that was writing uh, actually our credit card, yeah. but it's okay. Yeah, you had to get two rides to get here, actually. Yeah, we From spent a lot of money on you, dude. This house, the Uber ride, everything was for you. Production. It's worth it for your future potential victims. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. We'll have to go through this now. Yeah. I cannot even process knowing that instead of us, it could have been a child here. Yeah. What would have you done if it was a kid? Just finish the bath, did shots of tequila in the bath? What would you be doing right now? Everything you talked about in the messages, or what? I think pretty much everything laying up, you know, on this table. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I think we have our answer right now around us. You know. I, just want to I know you want to hear us. it. I know. It's, it's just not a good look here. Are, I mean, are you even remorseful? Are you sorry at all? Think about your daughters. You should hate yourself, because you would hate that. You would hate the person that did that to your daughters, right? Pussy. I think, uh, I, I think he's he's out of words. He's out of words. I think he's using them all up in the, the novel. Yeah. You know, I always say that, you know, his head or his heart did not bring here. His dick brought him here this yeah. tonight. He didn't think he didn't think it was Sting House operation. He didn't think that, you know, it was so good to be true and he still didn't doubt himself that like, hey, I'm this shit I'm doing is wrong. It, it is a fucking adult over there. I should not do this. And he just listened his hard dick, according to you, because we've been listening to those conversations. You were hard as a rocket, all one hour drive from Palmdale to LA. You did say that. The whole drive, you, were, you said you were hard. The whole way. Now. I'm surprised we didn't get that uh, dick pic that we asked. Yeah. Maybe not a lot. Oh, wait, we got to see it anyway. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. we have to be some work, yes. fortunately, but unfortunately. You guys are lucky you saw the front. I saw the back bent over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's okay, he's back to be bent over and not play around. Maybe a crowd box out around. Well, should we do thumbnail? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know, boys and girls. It's just, it's just fucking embarrassing to live even 
I know we're living in different zip code, we live in different cities, we speak different languages, but there is something right and there is something wrong. And Jared, you on the other fucking side. You took a wrong Jared, fucking turn in your life. Again. Despite having a second chance. Fucking amazing family. You know, there's there's a shame in your prison. Don't make it out. It's just a shame. Have a shot if you want. I'm gonna be your last one for a while. Yeah, do you want me to get you a shot? It's right there, here. Came here to talk. Yeah, my no, ass. You have condoms. That's a that's a smooth yeah. talker operator. Yeah. Came here to talk. All right, so it's your time to talk. What's going on in your mind? Seriously. This is your chance to tell your side. Just help us to understand. Help us help you. All the people who see this are going to make up their mind about you, man. So... You might as well say something. You got to say something. And anything, Jared. The floor is yours. The fuck you. Are you gonna cry? I want to cry for your kids. We're listening, Jared. It's okay to cry. It's it's it's. Amazing. You really fucked up. Are you crying though because you know it's you it's sinking in what you came here to do, ruin a kid's life? Or are you crying because you were caught? Did I miss something? He's crying. No, he's doing deep swallows. We'll put them down for help back to yours. Yeah. You know, there are two, maybe three types of men, and one of them that when they know they fucked up, at least they admit it and just say, like, you know what? It was wrong. It was fucking wrong that I did today. At least have that. At least say fucking I'm sorry to the person who is next to you, who's supposed to be 13 year old kid. At least say I'm sorry, even obviously you're not fucking sorry because you're here, but make it. That's the least that you can do to a person who saw you fucking naked in that bathroom. Do the least you can do here. We cannot change you. Society cannot change you. You made a decision already for yourself. For yourself, for your family, for your kids, for everybody. But do it. When you fucked up, just please say I... Just take some accountability. Yeah, Be a man, please. For once in your life. And funny enough, he's almost the oldest one in this room. So many men in this room and he's the oldest one. Being but lectured. he's the one who is childish. You're being lectured by a bunch of people who are younger than you. We shouldn't be here having this conversation with you right now. Oh. We had young, 21, 22, horny child predators here, crying out loud, asking for forgiveness, knowing that they fucked up, and they just like, I'm sorry, it was stupid. And meanwhile, we have these fucking grown-ass men sitting. It's pathetic. Like nothing fucking happened. Anything to say all your It helps really, you know, your full last opportunity. I'm telling the parole officer ain't gonna be too happy. Sorry, right, guys. I feel like this might violate your parole. Maybe. Stop. I'm pretty sure any police contact is gonna violate your parole. I know there's a lot of things that's gonna probably violate that. I mean, are you even supposed to have alcohol since you're on parole? Is that, is that a thing? Alcohol, no. serious. All these awesome questions, questions that you mind. have, he's gonna, he gonna face those questions with officials. Yeah, that's gonna be years. Yeah. And he would not be able to escape. You know, you could have done something amazing. All those skills that you were talking about on the phone. Well, it's a big game on the phone up until you got here. So. so much skill and potential for younger you, but you turned into this. You got out of prison, you got a second chance. Not, not everyone gets a second chance, right? And then you ruined it again. You ruined it. You're ruining your life. You're fucking up your life. You're too old to be acting like this. You're done. Like, your life is over. There's no coming back from this. He's gonna be the trainer, right? We told horse trainer, yeah. Horse trainer. Yeah. 
We had a full conversation about all of your skills. You could build anything. You could be out there making money, man, as a carpenter. All you need is blueprints. Build a piano. Sure. You need shirts on yours? Oh, wait, you'll, you'll get your shirt after you answer a few questions. So that's what Can you, you have to say? Questions? Again, yeah. only thinking of yourself, right? Can you answer at least a few questions first, Jared? It's amazing that we created future that if somebody will give us a second chance, we will take those horses and we will do something good for society. We created something good. We think that he should have done that. It's just incredible that you cannot put your own brain, your own thinking on somebody else's head. You can't control your urges. Grand Theft Auto, stealing, you know, those cards that you stole, coming here to take a 13-year-old girl's innocence. She's a virgin. Bringing condoms, alcohol, you have daughters, not taking any accountability. You were naked. And going back to the horses, Jared, I mean, I think you should stick to grooming horses, not children. Very accurate. Very well said. I know you didn't know me, and you didn't know us, but I personally was hoping you would not come. We were thinking, you know, push you for tomorrow and stuff, but holy fuck, you were eager. I, like I said, you didn't know me, but I'm so fucking disappointed to see that you follow the lead of your dick. So was it worth it? Yeah. Can you answer that? Was it worth it? Well, Jared, look, let's make a deal. We'll, we'll give you your shirt back if you could answer a few questions. Would you be willing to to do that? Well, at least say I'm sorry to this lady in no, front of you. We're gonna say something. We're say sorry to the cameras. All the victims of real sexual assault yeah. would have been here. Or say sorry to your family, your daughters, your sister who lets you live under her roof. Do you think she's going to be letting you live there after this? What do you think should happen to you? Pathetic. I think he knows all the answers. He just gave it up to himself because he knows he fucked up. I think, I think he's just thinking about how cold he is. Oh, he's yeah. Sure. Thinking about himself again. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm horny. Let me go find a kid. Yeah. I'm cold. Give me my t-shirt. Yep. I'm thirsty, I have some tequila. That seems to be how he thinks. That's how he operates. I don't even know, my like, guys, if, you know, I should give him a little bit of a benefit. He came protected. You fucking came protected. Yeah. Well, I mean, know. this shows that he was actually probably going to... That's uh, true, yeah. You know, he had equipment that it was would have served in him. Exactly. Yes. I don't yeah. know about y'all, but in my personal bag, I don't keep two fucking boxes of condoms. Two, yeah, yeah, I mean, one, yeah. I could one understand box. one just for safety, but two boxes, brand two, new, right? sealed. Mm. I look at do you, have more, do you have more dates this weekend? Do you have more kids waiting for you line up? I know the answer is no. Not anymore, right? Not anymore. It's a lot of condoms. I mean, I look at this and think, you know, this guy was here to... Stay for the stay of the weekend. Stay a couple days. He did mean, six six condoms. This is good for six rounds. Oh, sure. work for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Seems like he had a busy day plan tomorrow as well. He did ask uh, call off work. Oh, he's coming back. Mm -hmm. Call off work. Which one more are you gonna go for first? Her pleasure or ultra thin? Definitely the ultra thin for his pleasure because he's yeah, fucking selfish. Sure. How many licks does it take? Did you really wear that fucking shirt? Here, uh, well, what is this shirt you're wearing? Is, is that really the, the, the Tootsie Pop owl on your shirt? He did talk about licking the back. And you're here to meet a child. Oh, Wall Street, this is the fucking shirt you wore. No, I, I, I think I think we should have the shirt. You can't see my people think this. this is fake. You can't I, I, I think it's we should have the shirt. He doesn't deserve to be representing the, the Tootsie Pop owl. Not sponsored. <laughs> this is a lost race to all. Sorry, pop lovers. Sorry, right. Trojan and Jose Cuervo as well. <laughs> no, it's is there someone better than us? I'm serious. It's like it's spring forward with Jose Cuervo cool. Right. Well, he, he just got out. He's fresh. I can I yeah. don't know. Give him a break. But I'm just curious if we would not, you know, send him over. You know, he was very eager to find a ride until mm -hmm. where he leads to that um, um, the Walmart. The Walmart, yeah, save money. It was better. 
So you say you never lied to your sister, right? So uh, did you tell her the age of the kid you were coming here to meet? Why don't you call her up and let her know what's going on? How else are you going to get home? That's a long fucking walk. Yeah, I mean, you're stuck. Are you going to walk? Because we're definitely not Ubering you back. No, well, that's enough. You owe us money. That was, that was a long way ticket. You have a long way to get here. Sounds like you're so eager to leave. This loan was five percent, so it's in the Oh yeah, you're wow. so fucked. <laughs> you in LA in the middle of the night? Yes. Yeah. You're fucked. Good luck. What if he said to his family that he's going to meet friends? Some right? chick. Some chick. Yeah. Some, some chick. Yeah. I believe that's what he said. Chick. Do you have a charger for your phone, Jared? Well, according to his backpack. Full of everything. Well, you probably have well, TV or whatever. There's no shot he rock on as an alcohol on that charger. Jared, I'm just trying to help you out. Do you have a phone charger in your bag? You mind if I go look at your bag? You mind if I go look in your bag to get a phone charger for you, buddy? I don't have a charger. You don't have a charger? Condoms with no charger. So we can talk. So you only bring some of the essentials. Priorities. USB T. I got you a Do you mind if I go try to charge your phone for him? Jared? Very nice people. Oh. You guys have very oh, nice people. Here. Is that right if I go charge your phone for a little bit? Looks like you shake it's nodding. I, I don't know if that's nodding. I'm not asking any, any serious questions. I'm just asking if it's okay if I go charge your phone for a little bit. Okay. Well, he's open to it, huh? Well, maybe our friends who's coming right now, they they have um, the right hole with the right USB for you. Probably give you a lift too, okay. eh, buddy? Yeah, they might. Yeah. Where do we go from here, Jerry? We're open to suggestions. Where do we go from here? I'll go for pizza. What do you guys think? <laughs> mm, Some predator pasta. Long over here. Pizza. Long ones. The long night. It's incredible to see how talkative he cannot shut up on the phone. Can't, couldn't. So it's just his life. Yeah. Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't shut the hell up. No, no matter what. Not for kids, but not adults. Right. It's going on and on and on. But now he learned our life story. story. But you know what? I don't know if you can wait, but I will wait. At age 18, I'm gonna marry her. And that's it. And she's like five years to go. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna groom her for five years. Right? You're gonna groom this girl for five years. And fuck her tonight, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. Just wait until like you know, she's great, an adult to be married. Wait the great detail about that. That's where we draw the line. No, we draw the line if she has a boyfriend. No, oh, then it's all that's, right. that's right, yeah. But her just being under If she's taken. If she's taken. Yeah, that's just fine. You alright, Jared? Do you need an ambulance? Do you need an ambulance? Jared? Jared, you gotta talk to us, man. Give us a thumbs up if you need medical attention. You need any sort of medical attention or anything? Give us a shake if you need anything. Why are you guys <laughs> coming after such a gigantic hot bubbly fuck to a cold refrigerator or something? Even the water's still in there if you want to cool, you know, warm up. You can get back in the tub. I mean, like you were in there a short while. Man. Jack is still waiting for you with that Uzi. Jared, do you need an ambulance? I didn't finish scrubbing everything down. So. We're just going to call one. We're going to see we need one if you don't speak to us. Jared, can you talk to me? Can I give my sweatshirt? Can you use sweatshirt? Sure. Sweatshirt. Sure. Can that be a little better can for you? Can you answer a couple questions at least? He said no. Are you just cold right now? We'll give you the sweatshirt, no problem. You just have a couple questions, Jared. Which one was his t shirts this gray one? one? Is that the gray, gray hoodie? Is that yours, Jared? Oh, yeah, it is a gray hoodie. Mm -hmm. We described that to my new one. Oh, when uh, he came in, he like was hugging on me like I couldn't really move. Like it oh, was crazy. Gross. Yeah. Hand yeah. Here you go, dude. Did you do it? I thought you were gonna surprise us all, and it's gonna be four pack of condoms. <laughs> I mean, you're three for three. Yeah, three for three. Yeah, but you know what? It's a first time meeting. You never know. Is that the company you work for? The painting company? What is that? Davidson. 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 Oh, 
other. We'll give them a call tomorrow. Oh, that's right. You do the estate sales, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. 355 <laughs> What do you call it? Bullshit work? <laughs> I'll tell you what's the bullshit. What he's here to do. But incredible that the bullshit work, you know, that people taking chances on him on convict. Jared, do you mind taking it off for him? Thank you. Jared, can you answer a couple questions now that we've given you everything you've asked for? Well, the least you can do is answer a couple questions. Since you came over here, we paid for an Uber for you. We waited for you, got this house for you. This gave is all for you. Gave you a bath, gave you, you, you know, a bath. And I put inside like three candles. I was trying to make it romantic. You know, I know. Romantic we, food, we, food, we did so much for you, Jared. Did you we nice have. We just want a few questions answered. You just take a year to warm you up. Just have a yeah. little shot of it and relax a little bit. It'll hurt less for a minute. It's going to be a nice time for a while. This is good, like, exactly. It's going to be a nice time for a while. Live it up. For a while. Yeah, I would guzzle that bottle. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'll remember this in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you may be going back. He's going to have to think about that a lot. Okay, Jared, that's, here's the thing. If, if there's nothing else you have to say, then I do have to let you know that I'm Steve Hansen, with the predatory investigation unit, and we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with kids online for sex. And you've just been skeeted in 4K. And just tasted it right now. And 8K. Yeah. Geo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh squad. Step in it. See all the embarrassment in the highest quality possible. Yeah, it's incredible. Point. Silent pity party, you should really mean nothing when you think about no. it. No, right. I feel zero I don't more. Give a shit about it. Can you just say something here, Jerry? Zero worse. It can't get worse for you, so you might as well try to plead your case. It, it physically cannot we, get worse. We just want to know. We just want to answer, Jerry. That's, that's we answer. just want to know why. That's the big question we have. Why? It's Friday night in LA. You could be doing anything, talking to anybody, going wherever. And instead, here you are at this house to meet a 13 year old girl with a Jose Cuervo go and two packs of fucking condoms. How do we get here? It's a shame, here. But that's naked. Bend over. I mean, you know, like I said, he followed his navigator between his legs. He followed, yeah, he followed yeah. the wrong brain. It's mm -hmm. compass for North. You're, yeah. in, you're in LA. There's a ton of things to do in LA. There's no, no shortage of clothes you could run to. All jumping, too. And he helped you wake up at 7. Oh, I think. No, he called out. He called he off. Yeah, because he's worth it. it. <laughs> you said it in worth person. It. I'm worth it. so beautiful. It, oh. Yeah, this was totally worth it for us. Yeah, it was. Maybe we should let him call him tomorrow and let him know why they were. Yeah. Employees going why they the employee of the year did not show up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. A, a job gave you a chance too. Sunday Fresh out of prison and you fucked it all up, dude. You fucked it all up. Didn't take long. Didn't I mean, take. seriously, this is really pathetic. That's only that we know that in 30 days, this is, you know, first time that he came to do this. Definitely not. Yeah. No, because if it was your first time, how was it so easy? You had zero questions, no hesitation. I mean, this is insane. Well, of course, it was one question. What exactly, what time your dad is coming from? Mm -hmm. And are you a virgin? Yeah, he's right here. He got you the Uber. Okay. <laughs> I'm the dad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not my dad, but <laughs> pretend dad. So, say something. We're all trying to fill, it, um, fill in with the silence. Uh, I think we've gotten as far as we're going to get. Yeah, it's like Fernando. Oh, wow. The last guy that got naked in LA, he also looked down shivering and. Uh, you got any friends sick. named Fernando? Fernando 2.0. Yeah. And he even had two kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Two and kids. He also carried a blade, too. Yeah. And that video got like a million views in like a month, bud. So and I think yours is going <laughs> to. Your video is going to go super the viral. Really added the bubbles? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I felt like I was filming an OnlyFans video for a second. Uh, <laughs> it don't get demonetized quick, though. Yeah. You can get early access to your face on locals, though, if you want to subscribe. Yeah. What is it? Skeet Hansen. It's uh, skeetergene.locals. Skeet 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 yeah. yeah. I can't I can't really see the shot when I turn around. And guys, you know he can't oh, Michael was there. Same. You know he cannot afford that early access, so let's be real, guys. He cannot do that. I don't know. It's a lot. He cannot do that. No, he'll ask a 13-year-old for money for it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, ask your daddy. As soon as he heard 
that your dad says like, yeah, you have unlimited card, use it, points, whatever. He was like, send me that fucking Uber. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna put my butt naked, horny ass right there. Drive me, baby. Bring me home. Jared, this is getting ridiculous. What do you want to have, have happen right now? Seriously. We're all adults here, thankfully. Yeah, aren't you glad? What should happen right now? We're open to suggestions, man. The floor is yours right, right now, man. Right? We're not here to beat you up and hurt you. Yeah, we would have been done that already. We're not getting anything out of them, so. We're just getting thumbnails while you're doing this, so. Jared, can you talk to us? No. What, do you want to talk to like elsewhere in another room? Would you like to talk in a room? Anything I can do for you, buddy? Who's your favorite so far? Cosby. It's just it's fucking incredible. It's just incredible. Mm -hmm. You see the same pattern over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And being a good human being, I always wish that they will fucking sh give up, rethink, and not show up. Shit, you just both not clarity. And it's never fucking happened. You just want the best out of humanity. I don't even know this guy, and I'm disappointed for his family, and especially for his kids. Absolutely. Yeah. His job, his sister, everyone that gave him a second chance out of prison. To hearing on a speaker. He's younger brother. Yeah, yeah younger I know, brother. dude. That was like to hearing fucking speaker, angel in your ear, bro. His younger brother saying, yo, don't. Don't, don't do don't, that don't shit. Don't Whatever you're going to do. Yeah. Catch yeah. me if you can. Insane. Yeah. Want to catch Well, we you. caught you. Yeah. The younger brother is going to be so disappointed. If this ain't a textbook definition of I told you so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your sister's probably freaking out right now. Can you at least do her the courtesy of calling her and telling her what's yeah, going on? Yeah, wants to know if you're okay. Yeah. It's, one, it's after one o'clock in the morning. Has she been calling? Uh, Jared, no, you have a few people that want to check up on you. You want to check up on them? They're going to find out one way or another, so this is your chance to let them know on your own. We'll be quiet. Hold on. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just trying to ask you if you want to check up on your family. I don't think any of us are the bad guy, Jared. If you, if you, if you tell them what's going on, we won't say a word. The bad guy. Jared is the bad guy. He brought the bad company. Shout out to his chat, too. Done it for him. Well, this is uh, like actually remember guys, I said it's gonna be a runner, it's gonna be loud, he's this and this. Oh my god. Look exactly. at this fucking quiet man. Yeah. Thought you'd have more energy. Or should I even call you man? Or just yeah. call you a creature? Who crawl all the way from fucking Palmdale with a card dip? You're a monster. But just wait until 18, right? I'm gonna marry you. It's a fucking perfect groomer sitting right here. He knew what he want to do, he can prepare it. Premeditated statutory rape. Sure, that'll look good. Yeah, record. soliciting a minor with an electronic device, sending a minor to uh, illicit materials. The list goes on. Parole officers aren't going to be happy about those. You should have had lefty or righty tonight and go to sleep. A little post not clarity after that. Works wonders. Yeah, it's a real thing. If I would, if I should, right? What if that's saying? Should have could have would have. Should have could have would have. Thank you. I had, I had a dig for a second there. <laughs> you dig for a second even. It's, it's yeah. been a long day. Wow, 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 wow. I sincerely was hoping he would not show up. I was like, even lock on his side. Not a single Uber. Not a single release. Yeah, it was the universe. The universe was yeah. trying to keep you from doing this. You was the told you like every you obstacle. You fought every it. obstacle. You fucking over jump, over crawl, over run. Just devil in your ear, man. Somebody was say it was archaic. There is no cars. It was no cars in your area. You, the guys. I mean, what did you tell your brother when he picked you up to give you a ride to the Walmart? Oh, he's just hanging out with some well, chick, right? Yeah, there is some chick. Some chick, chick okay. Yeah. I mean, everything, yeah, everything was telling you not to go through with him. I may say, when he said it was some chick and his brother said, don't do it, that leads me to believe that he's done it before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just going to meet some girl, then if I'm your brother, hey, you go have a good time. But I would only be concerned if you've gotten tangled up in some illegal stuff before. 
Hey, so, well, so unless he's going to say something, no. it leads me to believe. Hey, brother, just look at this, this. This is not your first time. Hey, brother, look at yeah, What time should I pick you up? Yeah, have some fun too. Yeah, yeah. you know, you you just have some fun. Yeah, yeah, have a good time. That when you the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Again, yeah. we're thinking that for him. Yeah. We we put this yeah. for him. Yeah. His yeah. family, yeah. sisters, yeah. brothers, we random people want the best for him, and it doesn't fucking work like that. Yeah, they probably think you're dead in the ditch somewhere, man. You should call them and at least just let them know you're okay. We won't say anything. Oh. As long as you're honest. Looking for honesty? <laughs> yeah, imagine their anxiety level right now. You left two hours ago and nothing. He obviously doesn't care about anyone but himself, so. It's I don't clear. think he gives a fuck. That's clear. They're gonna see this too, and they're never gonna know. Wow, wow, wow. When you think like you're gonna be disappointed anymore in life, you're gonna see fucking butt naked Jared at one in the morning. Yeah. Burning know. his balls in the hot top <laughs> that was scalded out. Dude, I was I actually was thinking to put a little bit cold water yeah. and I forgot. And I just like made that this this ex and I'm sitting in the closet. I'm fucking dying. Ashton's trying to shut me up, and I can't. Yeah, Skier goes, "Why is he groaning?" <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing because I know that I know this such was. a fucking hot shot. Like no, this water. was this was literally Bugs Bunny easing into the hot tub. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> here you got a new dick pic request. Uh, oh, really? So. From the uh, a notification from fuck man. What is fuck man? Is that like another app you're on? Oh, fuckme.com. It was a message from him. You know what he's for? Yeah, he had a dick pic request. Wow. Aww. Well, that explains why, you know, this is for tonight, this is for tomorrow, or this is for one hour. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go to another minor. Yeah, wow. round one. I mean, that's all we can one. assume. You're not you're saying your side. Pizza is so. far in the car. All right, so. All we can do is fill the blanks for you, Jerry. You should really say something for yourself. So, well, the world doesn't say it for you. you know? Mm hmm. Yeah, we do. Do you like pizza? We got your food. We actually have gigantic pizza coming for you. Yeah. Extra, extra, extra long. Extra long. Extra cheese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah extra, extra bushy, cheese. extra cheese. Yeah, everything extra for him. Because he went the extra mile. Yeah, of course. He went extra mile. We're gonna give him extra treatment tonight. Are we a bad company, Jared? Oh no. no. It's nice to be down. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I thought it was better than your ski. Yeah, that's pretty good. I couldn't think of anything. Well, it's kind of hard when you're basically talking to the wall and not getting anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm bored at this point. Yeah, it's pretty damn hard. We're just stalling. Hey, at, at so. least he fucking cracked me up, dude. I cannot. I, I thought like I'm gonna blow up from laughing uh, the whole closet. Wait, what were you guys thinking when uh... I was not thinking, I'm hearing his reaction when he put his legs and bolts and he was like... Oh. <laughs> I should have seen him, he was bent, his ass was like in my face and he was just like bent down, ass up. I turned on the water and I sprayed him with the hose. Literally. <laughs> that was not because, yes, it was switch. Oh my god, that was comedy fucking gold. Jared, I mean, we're joking around but he's not even here. I know, because he's yeah. not. You know, yeah. he, he thinks he's right in the app. He's here, but he's in Ura Uranus. Well, good morning, Hi, folks. Hi. Good Hello. evening. Thank you for coming. I'm, uh, I'm sir. Can you stand up real quick? Uh, there you go. Okay. Is there anybody else in the house? No. Um, I think he's okay. I'll check with the you. bathroom. Do you want to do it Uh, Well, do you know what I mean? I'm legal. Nothing like that. If you're inside, make yourself known. Um, okay. Well, about that? Okay. And who had the uh, the pronouncer? That was passed off to one of my partners, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Chica. And if you want to just verify that if I can nail. Okay. And then uh, someone can run them too. Yeah, Chambers run them. Not bad. Cool.
As you can see, he did not talk much. He was very defeated, overwhelmed, and you know, it was Art Ashton, Skeeter Jean, and I standing there. You know, that's very overwhelming. He did not open up. Uh, you know, a confession on camera would have been really great. However, I think the phone calls, the text messages, him showing up with alcohol, walking straight to the bathroom, um, I think everything speaks for itself. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to follow me on Locals, Rumble, and Facebook. Links all in the pinned comment and description below. I'll be posting other videos on here, maybe similar to the topic. I have a couple ideas in mind, but I can't really upload on here anymore. It doesn't really let me upload catches. It, I get strikes, um, I get warnings, I get my videos deleted, I get demonetized, so you know. Locals, Facebook, and Rumble if you want to see my catches. You know, two of those platforms are free, so. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Trilogy Media. Thank you, Skeet Hansen. Thank you, LAPD. And we'll see you soon. Remember Jared from Subway? He's inspired a lot of people. He's looking good to show you the way. His name is Jared and he'll lead you to Subway.